Hi guys, my name is Marlon Elias, Filipino YouTuber from New York City, and today we're going to be visiting AMC Theaters. They finally opened the movie theaters in New York City. I still remember the last movie I saw in 2020. It was Onward. And then the lockdown started happening a few days later. Now it's March 2021, a year later. Like we're gonna be watching a movie. You know why the movie theaters are locked, right? Or are closed, right? Because of the pandemic. They started locking down the movie theaters in March 2020 because of, of the pandemic. And now a year later, we're on our way to um, AMC theaters, which March 2021. And let's see how's everything. It's nice that things are starting to go back to normal. And I'll show you everything that's been going on, okay? Today I'm in Bryant Park and as you can see, whew, it's cold. Guys, as you can see, I love this place so much. I purchased their stocks. It's part of my investment portfolio. So probably one of these days, I'm gonna make a video about my investment portfolio. So you guys can see it, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey movie fans, want to help us decide what to eat? Join our behind the scenes panel and let us know how they can make it more experience. Visit btspanel.com slash
Probably out of business. No, I think they like their parent company also the temporary the clothes on the theater. Usually these places like bustling with people, but like look how empty it is though. I'm not used to it. This is crazy. Hi, look, right now I'm in 14th Street Union Square. I'm transferring to the L train so I can go home and see how empty it is. Hi, guys. So, yeah, we just finished watching Raya and the Last Dragon. Okay. Yeah. It's the subway. So, what do you think of it? Uh, I heard it was okay. Did you do it? Make your expectations because I felt like it was not quite as good. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like it's a little fast-paced, in a way. Uh, like, I feel like they rushed the story. It's good, but I feel like it was rushed. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. Mm -hmm. There were elements that felt kind of built like the mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, we gotta have the female protagonist. The antagonist has to be female as well. Mm -hmm. It has to be female. We need more female characters. Mm -hmm. Every important character in this needs to be female. Mm -hmm. Oh, so overall, I'm just gonna add like a, a spoiler warning for this review because this is a spoiler review just to let you guys know, okay? okay. So, the major thing is from the very beginning, there weren't enough stakes. Like when you start the film, I say, oh, you can bring back the people back to life from stone. Mm -hmm. Then we, know, we already know that's what's going to happen at the end. It's, it's too predictable. Mm -hmm. You know, I just I felt like there needed to be some element of like we didn't know that was going to happen, but like it was so predictable that of course people are getting turned into stone, but we already know at the end they're going to get they're, they're going to be fine. So mm -hmm. what are the stakes? What else? Well, how do you feel about like the kingdoms? The world, world building I thought was well done. I think the animation was very good. It was top notch. It was very well animated. I, I think it's you know it's up there with uh, Disney's other animated films, mm -hmm. animated films in terms of animation quality. It's just a story. It felt like it needed more work. Do you like? I don't know. It felt like there wasn't... I kept feeling like there needed to be some more conflict between the characters. Like especially Raya and... What was the dragon's name? Zizu. Zizu? There was like... There was like no conflict here. I feel like there needed to be some sort of... Conflict. Even if it's not the major conflict, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. like, oh, we're best. We just need, and then we're friends because, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, because they're, they're both female, so they need to be friends. Mm -hmm. What about like that smoke villain thingy, their main enemy? How do you feel about that? I feel oh, like it was underdeveloped. Mm -hmm. underdeveloped. Like, I don't even know the backstory of those things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I felt like there needed to be more to that. Mm -hmm. That was just never before. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of there to be the threat. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you feel about like, because um, they say it's based on like Southeast Asian culture. Uh, it's okay. I mean, you know, I'm from Southeast Asia myself. Yeah, I know that, but <laughs> Philippines. at the same time, it's it's just an imaginary land. It's an imaginary fantasy land, so I get that it's based on those sort of cultures, but at the same time, it could have just as easily been any other culture. Or, like, the different tribes could have been uh, from all these different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. so, they look like uh, they only get inspiration from, like, the countries of, like, Thailand, Thailand, uh, Cambodia. 
Cambodia, a little bit of Laos, a little bit of Vietnam, Myanmar, a little bit of like Indonesia, I guess. But the fighting style, like um, that's from Philippines, the Pakistanic Philippines. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Well, they're right about the climate and the rain and all of that. And it's funny to see like Rambutans and all of that in the movie. But what else do you think? It's just funny, like she named her pet like Tuk Tuk. Because <laughs> you know, Tuk Tuk, they write that exactly. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it was a little rush. I, I don't know. It's just nice that I'm back to like the movie theaters and like watch it basically. But I don't know, I feel like it was just rush. And like the movie theaters itself, like I don't know, they're saying we're not allowed to like film some footage in the movie theater so I'm gonna delete some of the footage I guess and just add like parts of it because they, they, they don't like that they say they have baby about that <laughs> mm -hmm. and things are not available please. in the movie theater but it's better than nothing right now mm -hmm. but yeah I don't understand like that um, their main enemy though like what's their origin story? What's the origin story of the dragons as well? You think? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like it was fresh. I feel like I'm looking for something. I don't know why. Hi guys, so we're on our apartment right now to continue the review for Raya the Last Dragon. So, beginning of the film, it felt slow. And then I felt like it was reasonably well paced when he got later into the film when they were collecting the pieces of the stone mm -hmm. and it's just the beginning dragged a little bit and I was thinking about it on the ride back and I'm not I don't know I feel like it needs a rewrite either way mm -hmm. around it's the beginning I almost felt like that prologue maybe shouldn't have even started there Mm -hmm. Maybe you should have skipped that prologue rather than include it or include that information somewhere else in the film because mm -hmm. the beginning dragged a little bit and yeah, it either needed to go faster or just be included elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, I was expecting like big battles between like the dragon and like, how do you call those beings again? That look like fog, smoke, glowing uh, things. Uh, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Drew drew something. Mm -hmm. Why well, are you gonna Google it? Yeah, let me. Well, yeah, I was expecting like big battles, and then big battles between like kingdoms and all of that. Like I don't, I don't see that. Uh, it's still a Disney film. <laughs> but still, you know, like like in Avatar. So what do you think of like the world building? I I thought the w world building was okay. It almost seemed a little too ambitious for just a film. Mm -hmm. it almost seemed like. This story could have almost been better suited for a limited series, mm -hmm. like a Disney Plus series over like at least six episodes or something. What do you think? Of Droom. Like, they, they're called the Droom. Just the, the Droom. Droom. Mm -hmm. Like I want to see like, um, I don't know, like I feel like I want to see how they were created, how they existed or something like that. Like what's the mythology behind it? I think they just said that the Droom came from hatred or something like that or non-cooperation mm -hmm. it seemed very just there to service the story so very that there generic. was some yeah. sort of conflict to happen mm -hmm. and yeah, it's very generic and like what do you think of like the dragon though the dragons well the dragon was okay I guess mm -hmm. a lot of the humor didn't work for me mm-hmm it sort of just fell flat and mm -hmm. yeah it just didn't work <laughs> mm. but yeah they're making like comedy as well like Apo well i'm pretty sure apofina tried her her best but i don't know it didn't work for me that much as well mm -hmm. and like why do you think they choose like um that animal as her sidekick animal took to i don't know if that thing is like indigenous to Southeast Asia. Yeah. That seemed like a fantasy animal. 
probably like an amalgamation of a couple different animals. Mm -hmm. But because they're saying like um, it's inspired by Southeast Asian culture, so I don't know, like some of the animals. I don't know if Tuk Tuk is like indigenous to Southeast Asia. Well, the reason why they name it Tuk Tuk because of like um, you know, in Thailand they use Tuk Tuk as a mode of transportation, and they're using that basically. That's why it's just funny when they name the animal Tuk Tuk. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> but yeah, most of like the elements I'm seeing like. Thai culture, Lao, Cambodian, mm -hmm. Myanmar, a little bit of Viet Vietnam and Indonesia, I guess, or Malay. But it's not very obvious if you're not from if you're not from Southeast Asia, you're not gonna notice it right away because for you it's gonna look oh they all look the same, but they're not. I know I notice some difference in a way, but I'm from Southeast Asia myself. But I don't see like um, a lot of Filipino elements in it though, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> As I was saying before, it felt a little too designed by committee. Like they started out with saying, okay, we want to do an Asian focused story and we want in a female protagonist and mm -hmm. then a uh, female antagonist. And uh, let's throw a dragon in there that also mm -hmm. needs to be female. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, let's basically have a a plot like they, they wanted it feels very uh like they don't want it to be too violent too like mm -hmm. they say oh we want it re to resolve peacefully mm -hmm. as in they're, they're pushing that message and i understand it's a kid kids film but i feel like other disney films have been more violent than you would think this one would be considering what happens in the film mm-hmm almost feels like it's very kids gloves are on <laughs> mm -hmm. like we want to make a movie that's positive mm -hmm. you know like um the show i was thinking of earlier they inspired it on from like you know the jewel it reminded me of like that scene from like um inuyasha if you're familiar with inuyasha basically like um there's this jewel that looks like that a little smaller and then they break it into like m millions of pieces or something and the main character like has to travel to like different places and like fight different villains to recreate the the gem or the jewel itself mm -hmm. and then like some of the story reminded me of like you know other animes i watched in the past <laughs> that's why what do you think does it remind you of like any anime do you think not so much anime but at the world reminds me obviously of like avatar the last airbender mm -hmm. and that's why i immediately started thinking of even while i was watching it how it may be more suited to a series mm -hmm. than just a movie mm -hmm. especially the whole element of collecting all these different pieces of the stone and it feels like they were trying to show these different cultures of the, these different tribes but they just didn't have enough time in a single movie to really Mm -hmm. go any deeper to the point where it felt if you were going to do a movie like that you should have made it simpler like maybe just have two tribes mm -hmm. you know the main character raya's and then the the other tribe mm -hmm. but rather than having these these five different things mm -hmm. there's this thing i noticed earlier like they're talking about like oh they're gonna blame like the fan kingdom or something like they didn't show like what they actually do what did they actually do in order for them to like i don't know they keep saying like oh they're gonna blame us for what happened basically is it because they try to steal it from like earlier i feel like there's more history behind it no like, i think never... it's just that they were the ones who instigated the the conflict when they tried to steal the stone to begin with mm. So that's it. Because I feel like there's more history behind it than that. No, it didn't really seem like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there could have been, but mm -hmm. I think I think that's just the only thing they were referring to mm -hmm. is the fact that they would get blamed for initiating the conflict over the stone, mm -hmm. and that's what led to everything happening. Mm -hmm. That's what. Yeah, you know, I was just disappointed. Like I didn't see like oh how the dragons fight like all this villain. This how do you call it room. Drone, yeah. Drone, like how they fight them and how they they lost from this thing. 
how are they able to see it away or something like that. I don't know. But we saw that at the end. Yeah, but I was expecting more. It shows more, how like, they were, they got sealed away. You know, like more action. I'm expecting more action. You, you know me. <laughs> so, would you recommend it to anyone? Hmm. I guess I'll recommend it to like um people for like a date night, I guess, or something, or just if you're bored right now during the pandemic, you can watch it. But it's not something. How can I say? It's since I've seen the movie, like it's not something I'm gonna watch or I'm gonna go out of my way just to see. If I know the storyline, probably I can just wait on Disney Plus. Our bigger question is that it is available on Disney Plus right now for premiere access mm -hmm. which would you recommend if you if you need to see it now which i don't know if you really need to see this movie right now mm -hmm. would would you recommend seeing it in theaters or just watching it on disney plus um i guess i can watch it on like disney plus but i'm not gonna pay for like the premiere access i can just wait because i've learned from i had like a bad experience with mulan <laughs> and especially if it like Mulan is on the service and like for free in three months. Mm -hmm. That's not that long. And it's not that great of a movie that I would say you need to see it now. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you have a kid who really wants to see something, it might be worth mm -hmm. worth it. So don't forget to like support my GoFundMe campaign located in the description down below. And hopefully you guys can give this video a like, a share, and subscribe so I can create better contents in the future. And I will see you guys soon.